What's up? What's going on guys? It's Yvonne. Um, today I really wanted to go over something very important with you guys and that is um, removing people, subscribers from a campaign and adding them to a new campaign after they bought the item. So we've sent out emails, we've done two autoresponders, right? Suppose you have 10 and suppose someone buys an item midway. So after they receive email 5, they're going to buy your item, they're going to click on your links, they're going to buy it. Um, after they buy your item, we don't want them getting those same promotional emails. We need to move them to another list. So in this video, I wanted to show you how to be able to add them to another campaign. And then in the next video, I will show you how to remove them automatically as soon as they're added. Okay, so uh, let's jump right in. First thing we need to do is we need to create another campaign. So I'm going to go back to campaign list and I'm going to click on create campaign. And this is the campaign that we need people to go to after they buy. So our campaign one was diabetes. So maybe we'll name it Diabetes One Bot, symbolizing people that bought it. They'll be in this campaign. And we'll click Create. Perfect. So we've done that. Okay. So next thing we have to do, um, we're going to go to my account and we need to go to Integrations. And here you're going to see a bunch of integrations. So for example, Amazon uh, over here, Amazon Payments. Um, and uh, you, can, you can learn a little bit more about also the Amazon affiliate program right over here. Uh, but you can integrate it with other affiliate programs as well. So we will go to ClickBank. And what we need to do is the target campaign. So what this basically does is this talks to ClickBank. And as soon as someone buys from ClickBank your product on ClickBank or wherever it is in this case, we're using ClickBank, uh, they will be added to this campaign. And our campaign we want them to be added to is Diet BDs one bot So we're going to click Get the Notification URL. And we've integrated it. So you see there's a little green, uh, green, green bar. And then here it gives you the code. So you will actually need to do a completely different uh, code and secret key and all this for every new campaign that you make. So if I have diabetes and then weight loss and then I have uh, bicycle training programs, I'm going to click remove and I'm going to click add again. Okay. So once you plug this in into ClickBank, it's going to be saved. Um, okay. So, so you don't have to worry about this kind of integration not working once you click remove. It's still going to work as long as you put this in. So uh, now that we have this, uh, we need to go to our ClickBank all right, so this is your marketplace. So go to settings, that's the first step. Now we need to put that code into settings. Go to my site and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it's gonna say advanced tools. And here we need to click edit. And we need to add our secret key and the instant notification URL. So I'm just gonna add that here. And you put that in and you click save changes. Uh, you may have to scroll all the way down again. And now you just need to verify this, okay? So it says on verified, you need to test it to make sure that they're communicating properly. Okay, so I'll click this and, and it says verify, perfect. So you may also get a, uh, a window asking you about like, do you know some programming? Do you know this? Do you know this? Are you aware of what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera? That's just kind of a disclaimer uh, because if the communication does not happen as planned, they want to make sure that kind of you were the person who wanted to make that decision and you are able to handle it, right? It's it's none of, none of their concern, all right? Um, so we've done that. It's verified now. So now uh, we're, we're, we're pretty much done. So what's going to happen is people that buy a product from ClickBank from your links, from your affiliate links, they will be moved on to this program that we specified, Diabetes One Bot, okay? And in the next video, um, I will show you how to remove them from the original campaign. And the reason why I want to do that is because there's many other features uh, we can do with this automation workflow. So I kind of wanted to make a separate video on that altogether. Um, but at least now you have added them to another campaign and at least they're, um, they'll be receiving some different emails, okay? So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for, for the next video and I'll see you guys then.